Hello, I want to talk to you about a module, a Drupal module called Colorbox. You might have seen an effect like this when you've been looking at people's web pages and thinking, oh, I like that, I won't mind that on my web page. So, I'm, I want to show you an easy way to do it. Or relatively easy. <laughs> right, where shall we begin? Ah, first of all, if you've already got the modules installed, if you've already got Colorbox and CK Editor and IMCE already installed on your site and you're just watching this video because you just want to see how it how to make it work. All you need to do there's the Colorbox has got a lot of settings and you can do all sorts of things with it, but I'm trying to show you a, a simple solution today. And all you need to do is find the link code for your image on your web page and you'll find this anchor href reference that just is a link it's uh, a href just means a link so you've got to add this this red bit of code here this class equals color box and you put it in there now uh, I'll put down here I don't think this is the best place to put this class at the, um, the bit of code um, but if I put it anywhere else Drupal moves it to this position I've tried putting it all over and Drupal always moves it back here now I've, I've experimented with Internet Explorer 8 new, modern versions of Firefox and Chrome and it works ok in those browsers but it does look, if you, if you know much about code, that does look a bit daft but that's, that's the way it goes right, so let's get back to a script and we'll try and um, in 15 minutes we've we, we got to show you how to do this so let's crack on um, right, first of all I'll just show you basically what we want to do this is a Drupal website or this, on your web space, your web server you'll see all these uh, directories and files this, this makes up Drupal the bit that we're concerned with is sites sites is the bit that makes your whole Drupal installation it's, it's your bit is the sites bit so inside sites you've got all and default now what we're dealing with today is all so what we've got we've got themes that's the look of your site what it looks like you've got modules which add extra functionality things like um, if you want to run a, a blog or a um, I forgot what the other one is it's like a, it's like a, a supercharged blog I can't remember what it's called now um, libraries basically what you want to know is modules go in the modules directory but some modules need extra power to make them work and so you need a, um, some software and you put that in the, the libraries directory so this is Colorbox software and that goes in the libraries directory but we've also got a Colorbox module and that goes in the modules directory so we've got Colorbox module and um, the Colorbox software and I'm going to explain a bit more detail about that. Most modules, all you need is the module. Like this IMC, you just upload the module and that's it. But with Colorbox and with CK Editor, the both are a bit, um, they're more powerful and they're a bit more setting up. So with Colorbox, you've got the Colorbox module and in the libraries directory, you'll have to make the libraries directory yourself. Um, in the libraries directory, you've got the Colorbox software with CK Editor you've got the CK Editor module and inside that module you put the CK Editor software this this is a little read, read me file here and it tells you what to do um, very briefly but that's the um, that's the plan so far so I'll, I'll show you a little picture I made to try and explain this so you've got the libraries directory and in the libraries directory you put the color box software you've got modules directory sites or modules and in there you want color box module IMCE module and CK editor module inside CK editor module you put CK editor software right the modules are made to be used with Drupal the software programs can be used by any system. The software needs a Drupal module to make it work in Drupal. So that's basically um, why you need a module and the software. Because the, the software won't work on its own, it needs a Drupal module to kind of make it work. So let's get back to what we're doing. 
Um, right. So, uh, what would, hmm? I'll read through the script and then we don't get too too sidetracked too far off of um, what we're doing. If you're new to Drupal 7, you may be looking for an easy way to add professional looking pop-up photos to your site. Here's an easy way to do it. Install Colorbox plugin in the libraries directory or Colorbox software um, and Colorbox module in the modules directory. Install CK editor module, put the plugin or the software inside the module. Install IMCE image uploader module. Right, so what's next? Add a new page, add a new page to your site, select full HTML, insert an image, the thumbnail image, link the thumbnail image to the full size version of the image that you want to use. In the target box, choose new window blank and use the browse server button to select the full sized image that goes with your thumbnail. Uh, and add a menu link on your page, no, to, to your page. So let's do that. And then, this is a brand new site that's got nothing on it. I've just made this for um, to show you how to do this. So we're going to make a new page. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do first. We'll um, we'll set up the modules inside Drupal. So click the modules button, and the mod these are the modules that I've installed. We've got CK uh, IMCE image editor. We've got color box, and we've got CK editor. So click to enable then save configuration. I just don't have time uh, because we've only got 15 minutes with YouTube I just don't have time to actually install the modules as we watch. I've made a, um, a video about installing CK editor. I will when I have some time I'll make a, a video showing you how to install Colorbox but it's quite simple. Right what what we need to do now you can that both Colorbox and CK editor have got quite a lot of settings that we can set if we want to as far as IMCE um, but what we want to do is just to make it simple so all I'm going to do this CK editor if you click the configure button over here you're just going to make one simple little change and where it says you see this profiles and it says full full HTML we're going to edit there now all we're going to do is change this called the file browser settings. So click that button, file browser settings. And this is where we're done. Now, what it says, file browser type link dialog box. There. Just change that to IMCE. That's the only change we're going to make. Click save. Right. Now, what we want to do is make a new page. So we'll add content we'll make a basic page and now we've got all these buttons you see these uh, like like a word processor that's because we've added um, the CK editor and this little button here you can add images with that um, and we can upload images because we've added the uh, IMCE module. Now what we need to do, we'll put in a title, we'll call it Fauna. Right, now we'll put in some placeholder text here. Rather we'll look called Lorem Ipsum text just to um, just so we've got something to be to work with. Pardon me. <coughs> Oh, sorry about that. Right, now what we want to do is just paste the, uh, the text in. So there's a little button here that says paste from Word. Now, if you use a word processor, it doesn't have to be Word. I don't use Word, um, but I use this button. If you've made some text in a word processor, click that button there that says paste from Word and just paste it in the little box. It helps it to uh, format it better if you do that. Right, now we've got some text on our page. We want to provide a menu link. We'll just save it for now. It's not that so far we don't have any pictures on the page. That's all we've got. We've got the headline and the text. So we'll edit it again. again. And now we're going to add a picture. We'll add one there just to make it easier for us. 
um, where it says here text format filtered HTML you want to change that to full HTML so it says full HTML that means we can add some extra computer code to the uh, to the page as we make it well these buttons will add it for us so what we're going to do now is add the picture Let's see we've got four minutes left so just click this button that says click in the page where you want the picture to be added I'm going to put it there just so it's easy to find this link that we need to change right now what we want to do is to browse the server to find an image I've already upload what you can do you can upload images using this you just browse your computer now I've already uploaded the um, the picture of the phone just to save us a little bit of time so what we want you, you can resize the image as well this is a full size image which is a bit big now if you want to all you have to do is click this resize button and you type in the sizes here so suppose you wanted it to be a hundred high you type it in there and then you just click in the second box and it will um, I'll just show you quickly what we've got I'll go see a um, two five. suppose you wanted it um, 125 high which is going to be a tiny little image but you just click in that one and it, um, oh that's 125 wide uh, it, the, it will add the other box for you just click inside the other box and it will add that for you then just click the resize button now what we want to do, I want to add an, a thumbnail image to my page so we we'll click the um, go back because I did get a bit sidetracked there. I don't want to get confused. Click the brown server. Choose the image that you want, or upload one. Um, we're going to have that one. Yep. So click insert. Now I want to be I want this one to be set to the left hand side. So click a line left. And I want a bit of, you, you've got the horizontal and vertical space, it will add the extra extra space for you. So we'll add 8 pixels of H space, that just gives a little bit of a gap there. Now we haven't finished yet, we want to click this link tag here, set the target to new window blank. And then we're going to browse for the bigger size image of the same, the same phone box, but a big one, or bigger. So we'll have this, no we'll have that one, that's, that's ok, insert, and then click ok. Now, what we've got now, I'll just save this and we can have a look. What we've got now is this little telephone box at the edge of the page. And when we click it we get that, which is ok, but it's not really what we're after, what we want is something that looks a bit nicer. So edit again. What we want to do, we want to add a tiny bit of code to this image. So there's a button here that says source. So we click the source button. Now I put the image right at the beginning so that we, it's easy to find the code we're looking for. This is the code you're looking for. And it's ahref. It means anchor hypertext reference, which just means a link really. Now in here, you've got to type class equals and then um, Comments. I'm called comments. I got them now. Thought it chose. Um, and then in there you want um, color box. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble is, we read it from the script all the time. It gets a bit wooden, so I have to try and remember what I'm doing. So what we've done now, we've changed this to class equals color box so we'll save that quickly because we're getting really close to the uh, to the limit of time we've got so if we click it now it gives us the nice effect I'll just really quickly show you the th this is what you want to do you want to change that code to this code now I'll have to leave it there because we'll literally run out of time thanks for watching and do pop back bye